Sorry, I'm gonna move this up and close, guys. Okay, so welcome to another Rise and Reignite fitness class. Today is bar. And as you probably already know, this is the last week of doing our routines the way we've done them over the last like five months, which has been doing workouts like every single day, showing up and hanging out and getting those swole things going on. But today uh, is our last week of doing it like this. So we're gonna enjoy it a whole lot, bring your hands to your hips and start raising those legs up just one at a time. I am in what I call my um, ketchup and mustard outfit which involves wearing yellow and red. And it feels very American without being red, white, and blue. All right, so you want those legs to come up to about hip height, not really much higher than that. You don't wanna overextend your muscles here at the beginning, just sort of get them feeling really nice. We're gonna bring our arms up into two 90 degree angles, and we're gonna start pulling back. And as you pull back, start exhaling air sharply, pulling those arms vigorously down to your sides, Keep breathing at five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, you're gonna bring those legs a little farther apart. So your nice wide stance, slightly turn those toes in, reach down, touch one toe, and reach down and touch the other. So you're working out your back, getting into those hamstrings, and opening up that chest. So right now what we're doing is the warm up. The warm up only lasts about three minutes in total. And then we're gonna blast through different parts of the body. If you haven't done a bar workout before, you are in for a treat. They are focused on small, tiny movements that really burn and give you a lot of bang for your buck. You got three, two, one, lift all the way up. Hands come onto your hips. You're gonna raise one leg up, reach it around, and then touch it down onto the floor. Switch to the other side, and you just move gently from leg to leg. Again, we're just warming up. So focus on feeling out what's feeling good for your body today, what's not maybe feeling as good for your body today, where maybe you have some stress or strains, some injuries you need to watch out for. Pay attention to that here while we're warming up. You're gonna do your last one on each side. One more, bring it down to the floor. Hands come forward in front of you. You're gonna open it up to the side, bring it in, open up, bring it in. Breathe in and out as you just open that chest up, reaching that arm back. So we'll work on each different major body group, arms, legs, glutes, and abs, and we'll do each of those for approximately nine minutes. You're gonna do your last one here, bring it in, take it all the way down. Great, we're gonna start with arms, we're gonna jump down to the floor. So bring your, uh, into a push-up position. You can either have your knees on the ground, you can even be on a wall, or you can be up on your toes. We're gonna start with 20 on time boat push-ups. Starting now, here we go. Down, up, that's one, two, three, four. Pulling those abs, five, chin away from your chest, seven, eight, nine, you are halfway there, 10 more. One, two, three, keep pulling those abs in, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, last one, that's 10, pull back, reach those arms out in front of you, give them some TLC, pull back up, you're coming right back into push-up position, we're going to do 10 pulses at the bottom of your range, so you're going to come all the way down, and you're going to do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull all the way up, extend those arms out again, oh yeah, okay, we're going to pull up and we're going to just all the way around, so your booty comes down, your legs come out in front of you, take those hands, put them back behind your booty, lift yourself up, and then pull yourself back, you're going to start doing little tricep dips here, first to just get accustomed to them, we're doing them with both feet on the ground, your feet are plastered, about hip distance apart, your shoulders are down away from your ears. The closer you bring your chest in between those arms, the harder this workout is. On my count, we'll do 20 more pulses, and if you're ready for it, you can bring a leg up into the air and switch halfway to the opposite leg when we're halfway through. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you're done. Take it all the way down. Take those arms, move them back and forth in front of you. Give them some love. 
We're going to come back up into that push-up position. You thought you were done, but no, we're going live once more to the bottom of our range, finishing this off with 10 pulse push-ups there at the bottom. Here we come all the way down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull all the way up. Reach those arms forward out in front of you. Great. Tuck those toes in. Lift yourself up into a downward dog and walk those hands in toward their feet. Roll up. Your head's the last thing to come up. And I want you to grab a set of heavy hand weights. I am in Southern California lived, uh, living with and visiting my family down here. So I only have light hand weights. I'm not trying to make you uh, work harder than me. Don't worry. Hands come onto your hips. Your legs come out pretty far, more than shoulder width. And you're going to start... You're going to turn those toes out first. You're going to come down, lift up, down, lift up. Keep your chest nice and high, nice and tall. I know I said you were doing arms, but gotcha, doing some legs too. Okay, we got three more. Three, two, last one. Hold all the way down and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, pull up here. Arms come out in front of you into two 90 degree angles. You swerve them to the sides. And we're gonna start by pulling in, 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 in. <sighs> Breathe in and out, nice and steady. Sit a little lower, check that your posture is good here so your chest is nice and tall. Your knees are above your ankles. So adjust your feet to have that alignment. Deep breath in and out, <sighs> you got 10, Nine, really squeeze that tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Three, two, one, shoulder right now, and pulse. Four, three, two, one, sit back down. Arms come back into 90 degree angles, and then they move up about to a 45 degree angle, away from your body, and you're gonna lift them up to uh, parallel to the ground, and then back to that angle. Up to parallel, back to that angle, good. Up and down, really small movement here. But again, you're working with heavy weights, heavy for you. So that's something between three and five pounds is good for this kind of an exercise. If you can handle more, use more. If you need less, you can move it down. You can use water bottles or you don't even need to use any weights at all. You've got three, two, keep breathing. Last one, bring them in, bring them all the way down, and then fasten them to those sides. And we're gonna do five, four, three, two, and hold. Awesome. Hands come back into that 90 degree angle. You're gonna bring them out to the sides like we started with. So really push um, that ball, that tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Bring them up into a sassy W and start pulling in, 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 in. Get a little bit deeper here. Again, check that your uh, ankles are right below your knees. And pull in, in, in. Really nice, really steady, good job. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, bring it all the way down. We're gonna do five, four, three, one more exercise here, so pause here at the bottom. Bring your arms out into bicep position. Uh, so first they come onto your legs, then reach them out about six inches out in front of you. Again, bring your posture nice and tall. We're gonna do full range in and out. <sighs> Breathe through it. You've only got three minutes left in your arm workout today, guys. Three minutes, you can do it. Bring it up and down, take it up. Take it down, you're doing awesome. Breathe, nice and steady. You've got five, four, almost there. Three, full extension, two, last one. Reach all the way up, bring it up, then bring them up two inches and give me some pulses here. So again, correct that posture. Shoulders are down and back, ankles are right underneath those knees. And these little pulses are not coming up further than that crevice in your elbow. So you're not like up here being like, yes, I can do this. You're down here being like, I cannot do this, but powering through anyway, because you can. All right, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it all the way down, straight all the way up. Shake those legs out. Grab your light weights. Uh, shift one weight over to the side. Just grab one light weight. 
Um, one leg comes forward, your other leg goes back straight behind and then out six inches to the side. Bring your left arm over your left leg and reach your arm with the weight straight back behind you. Bring your shoulders down and your hips down so they're square and start pulsing that arm up, 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 up. Your neck is nice and neutral. Again, something important here is the squared shoulders, squared hips. You're looking out in front of you about two feet. So not too far, you're not overextending and you're not looking up. Keep breathing, pull up, 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 up. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, moving into bending and stretching, then stretch, stretch, stretch. So here you wanna focus on a little release and then really popping that muscle back out, out, out. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down, switching right into the other leg. Great job. Feet come together first. Bring one leg back behind you, out six inches to the side. Arm comes down onto your forward leg. Square those hips, square those shoulders. Bring that arm up and back and do pulses here. Up, up. Bring that arm up as high as it can go, guys. Maybe you're down here today. Maybe you're up here. If you're up too high, switch to a heavier weight. Try challenging yourself with that. Breathe in and out. Your front knee is right over that front ankle. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, bend, stretch, 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 stretch. So we're just going to finish up here, and then you're done with your arm workout. Power through these last couple seconds, guys. <sighs> Little release, full extension. You got 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, pull all the way up. Take that weight, bring it up overhead, pull it back behind you, stare up longingly toward the ceiling, letting that weight pull down, getting that full extension in your arms. So here for class today, what you're wanna, gonna wanna have with you is a bar. So you can use a chair like I am. I'm fixing my timer so it doesn't make noise. And um, you can uh, set your light weights or an, and heavy weights over to the side while we move on to legs. You can uh, stretch out your arms a little bit more here, maybe wave them back and forth in front of you or interlock those hands together and push them back behind you there. Take deep breaths in and out, draw those shoulders down and away from the ears and then release. We're gonna come over to the bar or chair for some cat work. Okay, so first bring those heels together, toes apart, pull your booty in, Pull your abs in, hands come down to the bar. We're gonna start lifting up, down, up, up, up. So here I want you to focus on squeezing, okay? You're squeezing your glutes, squeezing your legs, squeezing your abs, squeezing your everything. Squeeze everything. Breathe in and out as you pull up and down. So even if you don't feel this right away, believe me, you will feel the burn all in your calves. So just breathe nice and steady. We got four, three, two, hold at the top. Keep squeezing and really focus on that. And we're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. So pulsing is just about a half an inch of movement up and down. Shoulders are down and back. We're gonna lift one arm up overhead and we're gonna do 20 counts, switch our arms halfway through. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. So I want you to hold here at the top of your range, hold statically. If you're ready to take it up to the next level, bring your other arm to meet your arm at the top, making a big O. And once you're here, if you really want to elevate it, before you really elevate it, check that you're squeezing all over. You can go ahead and close your eyes and hold here for five, four, three, Two, keep squeezing, last one. Bring it all the way down. We're not done with cow yet. Bring those legs um, farther apart, a little wider than hip distance apart. Toes are facing out. We're gonna do a quick little romp through the calves here. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, shoulders down, squeeze everything you got. Three, two, hold at the top. And here we're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. We're gonna do 20 counts, lift one arm overhead and switch halfway. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, hold at the top. You can bring both arms to meet each other. You got five, four, three, two, one. You're done. Take it all the way down and shake out those legs. I know that's a lot of calf work today. You're beasts. 
Take your right leg, fold it all the way back behind you. Uh, push your glutes forward as you lean into the bar, getting that full extension whew, in those calves. So good, guys. <sighs> okay, switch so to the other side. Calves of steel, guys. Calves of steel. Get what you've got. All right, we're gonna move right on to uh, some uh, uh, thigh work. You're gonna bring your legs parallel to one another. You can do this with both arms on the bar, or you can do it just with one arm on the bar. That's totally up to you. Um, you're gonna bring those legs parallel. You squeeze your glutes. I know it's a theme. Squeeze those abs. Squeeze your legs. Pull yourself all the way up. Then drop uh, your knees down about six inches. So when you're here, your move, your legs are a little bit down. Um, your back is nice and tall. This is the highest you will ever come up in this exercise. So we're gonna come down, two, lift up, two. So you never fully extend. Right now you're just exploring in this region as you go down and come up. Breathe in and out. My legs are already shaking here and my calves are not happy with me. But it's good, it's the journey guys. As Miley Cyrus once said, it's the climb. Pull down for two, lift up for two, down, and take it up. We're gonna do three more. Down, two, shoulders back, chest high, up two, two more. Down, two, up, one more. Down, two, lift up. Here we're gonna hold here at the six inches down and we're gonna start pulsing right here. Pull those abs in, uh, pull your tailbone down toward the ground. Back is nice and tall and your shoulders are down and back. Just pulse in here for fun for five, four, three, two, hold here. And we're gonna drop all the way down to our lowest point and here we're gonna do a little pulse up, 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 up. Those thighs should be on fire right now. You got five, four, three, nice and tall, two, last one. Pull all the way up to that six inch down range. Again, check your posture, belly is in, tailbone is down, and pulse, 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 pulse. You got five, four, three, two, pull all the way down to that low point. And here we're gonna pull up slowly, one, two, three, four, drop down, pull up, two, we're only doing five, three, four, drop down, pull up, two, three, four, drop down, pull up, two, three, one more drop down, two, this is your last thing, three, four, all the way up, shake those legs out, take one leg back behind you, pull it back there, pull your glutes forward, Really pull your belly in too as you lift this leg up toward your glute. Oh, all right, switch to the other side. Thighs on fire, guys. Thighs on fire. I always look at my routines and think, this looks okay. Then I do the routines and I'm like, oh man, this is rough. Okay, so next exercise. We're gonna pull one hand onto a bar. One hand onto your hip. You're gonna start with your legs um, nice and wide, and then you're gonna turn those toes out. Now you're gonna lean forward uh, or toward the chair, and here you're gonna slightly bend your outside leg. And you're gonna drop down, lift up, down, up. So hold your um, belly in, hold your chest high. <sighs> Breathe in and out. We're gonna add in some arm. We're gonna pull that arm out in front of us, like we're holding a beach ball. Down, up, down, up. So again, your leg that's um, straight is nearly straight. It's got a tiny little bend in it. You've got four, take it up. Three, two, we're gonna hold all the way down here at the bottom. So your knee is above your ankle. You're gonna lift that uh, heel up, down, up, down, get lower, up, down, up, down, up, five, four, really good, three, two, last one, hold that heel all the way up and you're gonna pulse, 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 
pulse. It's really working your inner and outer thighs here. You got five, four, three, two, one. Lift all the way up. Awesome. We're gonna switch right over to the other side. And guys, this is our last thing in legs today. So again, starting with a nice wide stance. Lean over toward the bar like you just can't help yourself. Pull your hand onto your hip. You're gonna start leaning in, pull up. In, pull up. So you might need to readjust a little bit. The focus here is on keeping that knee around the range of your ankle, but when you're coming down, not to press that uh, knee past your toe. Your um, straight leg is nearly straight. Uh, check that posture. Check your stomach is pulled in. Your shoulders are pulled back. You can add in that arm, pulling that big beach ball in front of you. Breathe in and out. Working at that thigh. We're going to have three, two, last one. Hold at the bottom. We're going to pulse, 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 pulse. Really good. You got five, four, three, two. Hold here. Lift that heel up, down, up, down, up, up. Use that breath. Nice and steady. Five, four, three. Two, we're gonna blast through these last few seconds by pulsing here at the bottom. You've got 10 seconds left in this exercise, then you're done. So just focus on these little pulses right over this leg at five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way up and shake those legs out. Whew. All right, we're gonna grab that. Pull that foot back toward your glutes. Push your glutes forward while you do this. So you're really elongating your whole spine as you push through this, as you pull that foot up toward your glute. Switch to that fancy other leg. Whew. Pull that leg up towards your glute. Push those glutes forward and breathe. Nice long stretch here, awesome. I wanna drop that leg down. The next thing we're moving on to is glutes. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start by bringing those feet parallel to one another. So they're uh, both facing the same direction. Then you're gonna bring one leg back behind you. I'm using the left leg and then out like six or seven inches to the side. Actually, maybe to make that a foot. Then you're gonna sit down like you're sitting down into a chair, but here you're gonna focus on keeping your front knee over your front ankle. So this leg over here is just along for the ride. Your chest is up and you're looking up. I wanna start skating here. Your weight is really digging into that heel on your front forward leg. All your weight is digging in there, okay? So you can even wiggle your toes around if you wanted to give yourself a little extra something something. You could even take your hands up off the bar, fix them behind your back. It's a major speed skater move, guys. You don't need to depend on the bar for support here. In fact, you should not depend on the bar for support here. The phone, guys. That's just gonna ring because there's no one here to pick it up. All right, so we're gonna pulse here, down here at the bottom, just lifting through this. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold at the bottom, re-grab the bar. Now we're gonna add in a different set of movements. We're gonna bring that outside leg in, pull it back, in, reach it back. You got five, Back, four, back, three, back, two, whew, last one. Reach it all the way back, come back to that bottom of your range. And we're gonna finish with little pulses up, 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 up. So again, take those toes up off the ground, bring those hands back behind you at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull all the way up. Shake those legs out. We're gonna come to a stretch really quick. Come to a flat back, let those elbows dip down toward the floor. Get a stretch there, then drop those hands down toward the ground, leaning down toward those legs. Bend your left leg, reach toward your straight leg. And then switch to the other side. Awesome, pull all the way up. Same thing, other leg. I know, it's kind of worse when you know it's coming. Okay, legs are parallel to one another. And then you're gonna take uh, your uh, right leg back this time and out a foot to the side. 
Sit deep down in this and your knee is over your ankle. You pulse down, 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 down. So your hands are just either lightly on the bar or back around behind your back. Shoulders are down, heads up high. Heel is digging into the ground. This leg is just along for the ride. It's not doing anything. It's like you're going on a Stairmaster with just your left leg. That's how it should feel. It should be a lot of pain, not pain, a lot of burn up through the back of your hamstring toward the crescent of your booty on your left-hand side. If you do need to hold onto the bar, try putting your wrists on the bar rather than clutching it to just uh, establish that lack of dependence, otherwise known as independence. Okay, hands come back behind your back. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, hold tall, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands come onto the bar. We're readjusting so we can pull that leg in, out, in, out. You got 5, out, sit low, 4, Three, out, two, you're on your last one, pull it in, bring it out, and we're gonna take it home by getting down low and pulsing up, 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 up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull all the way up and shake those legs out. Stretching it out for a moment, come into a flat back, drop those hands down to the ground. First, bend your right leg and reach over toward your left. And then straighten your right leg, bend your left, and reach toward the right. All right, coming back up to everybody's favorite, arabesque. Okay, guys. So you're going to have your hands on the bar. You're going to start with your heels together, toes apart. Reach your right leg back behind you. Uh, you're about a four arms distance away. You fold down, and you lift this leg up. Bend it into a 90-degree position so your hips are open, your shoulder is down, your head is up above the bar, and your uh, leg is up high. Your front leg on the ground is slightly bent, and here we're gonna uh, push that leg back, reach it back, reach it back. So from another angle, that leg is high, just moving that thigh back, 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 back. Good, keep going right there. The key here is that you're twisting that torso to keep your shoulders down and those glutes high. You're working your um, side of your glute area. You got five, four, three, two, hold back and lift up, 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 up. So keep focusing on pulling those shoulders down. Keep it going. You got this. You got five, four, three, two. You have the option here to come up onto your toe if you're feeling ready for it. We're going to finish with a few more pulses here. You can raise your arm out in front of you if you are on your toe. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it all the way down and shake those legs out. Other side, guys. This exercise is challenging. If this is not where you're at, take it down level. Let that leg come down a level. Focus on your um, form rather than how high it goes. So we're going to start pulling down over this, bringing both of our toes apart, heels together. Leg comes back behind you, bends into a 90 degree angle, pulls up, and then you focus on pulling your shoulder down. So if your leg is down here, guys, that's fine. Try to bring it up as high as you can. And you're going to pull it in and pull it in. So you're like forcing that leg to move back, 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 back. Shoulders are down, heads up high above the bar. Use your breath, stay strong, stay with it. You've got five, four, three, two, hold here, and pulse up, up, up. Focus on twisting that torso. Bring that leg up as high as you can. Your head is nice and high above the bar. And you're focusing on raising that leg from your glute muscle right here. You got it, guys. Keep going right here, right now. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. If you want to, you can come onto your toe, slightly bend that standing leg, and reach an arm out in front of you. And we're gonna finish it off with 10 pulses here. Pulsing up, 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 up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Awesome, shake those legs out. It's six o'clock, guys. Just thought you should know. Okay, take a nice wide stance here. We're gonna finish off our exercise with one last booty blast. Big legs out, we're gonna pull our glutes under, and we're gonna lift our ring down, lift up. Take it down, lift it up. So from the front, you're taking a nice wide, long squat. Your knees are not coming beyond your toes. So readjust your ankles so that they're right landing underneath where your knees are coming out to. You've got five, you're almost there. Four, you've got 20 seconds left in your glutes. Three, two, hold down at the bottom, all the way here, and pulse, 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 pulse. We're gonna pulse for 10 seconds, we're gonna hold for five. We've only got four more seconds left of pulsing. Three, two, hold, drop a little lower. Three, two, one. Awesome, pull all the way up. We're gonna do our glute stretch on the ground. So come down to me, whew, and start with the back flat. Reach your right leg up over your left, and pull that leg in toward your chest. It should feel like heaven. Or what came to mind immediately was peach cobbler, but I don't know if that's very heavenly. Pull your, leg, your arms around the opposite leg. Pull in here. Breathe in and out. And we're gonna move on to core work. Again, we're only doing core and abs for nine minutes, and then we are done with exercise for today. We're gonna start with a one minute long plank. So you're gonna bring onto your hands and uh, arm, your forearms and legs, and you're gonna prop up into your nice long plank position. Pull those abs in. Forearms are down on the ground. Shoulders are in line with your glutes. And from your glutes, extend down your legs toward the ground. Just for a moment, I want you to try contracting those muscles in your legs, either the hamstrings, the back of your legs, the quads at the front of your legs. Try squeezing your glutes. This can be a full body workout, or maybe it's just an out workout with you holding here as high and long as you can. That's great too. And on that note, at any time, if you need to dip down, totally fine. Jump back in when you're ready. This is about stretching and challenging yourself. Do what's working for you today. You're doing great. Keep holding. You've got 10 seconds left. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. You're done. Pull all the way down. Extend those arms out forward in front of you. Breathe in and out here. Ooh, yeah. Pull up. We're going to do some abs on our back. So you're going to bring one leg over the other. And we're going to start with a normal um, clam here. And we do this one uh, fairly frequently. So try to challenge yourself a little more this time. Bring your right arm onto your right leg. You wrap your left arm around your head and neck just for some support, but not for pulling. And you're going to start pulling up. So you're pulling with that uh, center of your body, contracting in the middle, like squeezing together. <sighs> Breathe and try to push through this. Try to do more than what you've done before. You know this exercise. You know what you've been able to do. If you've been doing this with me for a while now, guys, believe me, you can do more. <sighs> Breathe in and out and push through. You've got five, four, Three, two, hold at the top. Again, up, pulse, 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 pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull all the way down. Let's switch right over to the other side and start lifting up. So your toe is on the ground. Your left leg is reclining on top of your right thigh. Your left hand is on your left knee, and your right arm is just holding some stability behind your neck and head. You can do this without an arm. 
on your leg and just do a free arm. If you do that, do not clutch the back of your arm, uh, head with the other arm. It's too tempting to uh, extra pull on that neck and shoulders, which can do some damage. Push through, really pull from that center of your body. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Hold at the top, and you're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. Really good, you got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, come all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a small pillow. You can use a um, towel and actually ultimately you don't need anything to do this exercise. I use it to give myself a little bit of an extra pelvic tilt here. Help my body out just a little bit. You can also put your arms underneath your um, glutes to help with that too. Then raise my legs straight up in the air, pull my heels together and toes apart and start swapping back and forth, back and forth. Scissor kipping, kicking up high in the air. These little kicks back and forth. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Pull those legs in for a moment. Deep breath in and out. Lift them up, heels together, toes apart. Bring your hands back behind your neck. Pull your uh, upper body up off the ground and start pushing those legs back and forth again. Breathe in and out. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, you're doing great. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Bring it all the way down. Pull those legs in toward your chest. Great job. Now lift those legs back up again. Pull those uh, heels together, toes apart. Lift yourself up off the ground. And here, instead of crisscrossing, we're going to pulse, 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 pulse. Pulling our upper body up off the ground using those abs. You got 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring it all the way down. Pull those legs in for a moment. Get a little bit of relief. One more time. We're going to lift those legs up in the air. Heels together, toes apart. Hands come back behind your neck. Lift your body up using your abs and start reaching those legs part, uh, right in front of the other. And then we're going to start moving back, forth, back, Forth, little pulses with our upper body, almost like a bicycle. So you're moving opposite knee to opposite elbow. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, pull all the way down, pull those legs into your chest. Amazing work guys, really good job. Breathe here for a moment. Whew. Pull that pillow out to the side. We're gonna come up onto a side plank here. So we're working up those obliques instead of right here, the abdominal wall. You've only got three minutes left in your glute workout, or sorry, your ab workout today. Bring your upper leg up and over and then under your lower leg, pull up to the side, really reach those glutes up high, uh, those hips up high. First, start with your arm on your hips, and then you can raise it up onto the, uh, into the air if you're feeling comfortable. And we're going to drop that uh, hip down for a moment and lift it up. 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 Nice. Good and steady. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Pull all the way down. Good job. Okay, switching over to the other side. Staple that forearm to the ground. Bring your uh, top leg around and underneath that bottom leg. Lift yourself up, bring those hips up super high. Hand can come onto your hips. And if you're ready for it, you can lift that hand up into the air. Anytime you can modify, bring that hand onto the hips or onto the ground. And we're gonna lift up, up. So you're just gonna dip down like halfway, a couple inches, right? If you need to modify, go ahead and drop one knee down onto the ground and focus on really using the uh, crunching those hip, uh, hips up from the side. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Oh, so good, guys. Okay, we're going to come back down onto the ground. You've got a minute and 15 seconds left in your ab workout. Make it count. Bring your legs to a tabletop position. 
Hands come back around your shoulders and neck. You're gonna lift up, crunch up, crunch up. So we're gonna start with super low crunches, and then we're gonna move on to really some low ab work. You got five, four, three, two, hold up here, drop one leg down, and here at the bottom of your range, you're gonna pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull in, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull in. We're gonna do one more time on each side. Nine, pull in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull in. Here we're gonna now drop one leg down and hold statically up here for just 10 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, switch, 10 more seconds, and then you are done. Breathe in and out, you got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, pull it all the way in. Bring those legs up toward your chest, breathe in and out, you should feel incredible right now. Drop your legs over to one side while your body reaches over in the opposite direction. Use this moment. We're only stretching for about three and a half minutes. Use this time to um, remind yourself of a couple things. I want you to think while you're still here in this moment about how proud you are of what you just accomplished. Go ahead and bring those legs over to the other side and reach, reach in the other direction. Feel really incredible about what you do, what you came out to do, what you made time to do today. Whether you felt like it was the best workout you ever did or you felt like you were um, struggling all the way through it, coming out and doing your best and getting better each time you're coming out. That's incredible. So give yourself the credit where credit is due. And use the other part of this time then roll all the way over onto your hands and knees. And here we're just gonna hold in a neutral back for a moment and then drop our belly down, reaching our head up toward the sky. The other thing to think about is just finding some peace, finding some quiet in this time. Taking those deep breaths in and out. Go ahead and pull your neck in towards your chest and reach your back up nice and tall. Come into a neutral spine position. Bring your right leg forward and lean into this um, front hip flexor stretch. So you should feel it along your hip flexor on the um, on the in your whatever leg is on the back. Let your hips square and then drop down toward the ground while your chest remains nice and high. Breathe and and on your next big exhale, go ahead and push backwards, reaching those toes up toward the sky while you lean over to, uh, down toward this leg. Getting that wonderful hamstring stretch in here all along your leg, and then from your um, along your calf as well, from your knee down to your ankle. Use your breath with each exhale, draw closer to this leg. One more breath here. Pull all the way forward. Bring both hands to the inside of that forward leg. Reach that leg around and back behind you. And pull your opposite leg forward in front of you. Use this time to go ahead and drop down those thighs, those hips down toward the ground. Square off those hips. Open up that chest. And take deep breaths in and out. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. In your next uh, big exhale, draw your hips back so your um, hips are above your back knee and your toes reach up off the ground, your foot in front of you. Use your exhales here to take measured um, movements toward this forward leg. Breathe in and out. One 
One more big breath here. Pull all the way forward. Bring both hands to the inside of that leg. Pull that leg back around behind you and come find yourself in a comfortable seated cross-legged position. Once you're here, drop your hands down to the floor on either side of you. For a moment, roll your shoulders up around and back so you're sitting nice and tall. Hands come down to the sides. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, and while you breathe in, reach those hands up toward the sky. And exhale, letting those arms come back down toward the floor. Guys, thank you so much for coming with me today. Um, I love working out with you. Let me know you came. Um, let me know you're having fun. Let me know what hurts. I feel it too, guys. I feel it too. So what happens now? So next week, there will be a new schedule. There's a lot of fun new changes happening for Rise and Reignite. So um, if you haven't already received it, I have a survey um, that's available through my email and through uh, my Facebook page that you can take to let me know what you want to see more of because I want your perspective and knowledge to help um, inform the direction we move into next. And um, I love you guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can know what's going on and when we have new posts. Uh, otherwise, I will keep you updated. Bar class, guys, is likely safe. It is likely you will continue to see bar classes because it turns out like 80% of people want to continue to see them. Um, so anyway, I love you. I hope the air quality is okay for you guys. Good luck with everything, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.